So I dug out a couple of pictures of blood root done in 1983, Kodachromes. <laughs> <laughs> That's these right here. Uh, this is what it used to be like, Meander River. Hmm. Masses of uh, blood root. And about four or five years ago, when they did the bridge on uh, the Murray McKay Road across the river, the blood route the next year disappeared completely. And we see those pictures bigger. This is just, yep. and yep. I think. Just double just click, click on them. Yeah, click. that's what I'm doing. Oh. There. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, there are masses of these things. And now there's nothing. I counted six plants on the floodplain last year. There's none up the side of the hill. I've spoken to the owner of the property each year for the last several years, and he's noticed the same thing. And I also found out about two years ago that the blood route at Hebert River, which is nearby, has also disappeared, along with the Canada lily. Wow. Both grew in a bog near Hebert River, one the blood route along the railroad track, and the uh, Canada lily was a huge clump in the middle of a bog in a really wet area, and you'd have to wade in the water to get to it. But it's disappeared. It's gone. Now, I checked it out last year. It was, was not there. So I did some reading on this. I, I've talked to Alan Bellovo about it. I've talked to other people about it. Nobody seems to be very interested. But apparently, this plant is grown for the horticultural trade in Georgia. And sometimes their crops are wiped out by a viral infection. Oh. And I'm wondering if that's what happened to ours. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to prove it. Hope it doesn't spread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going back again this spring and have a look and see what's there. That's the Northwest Arm. And uh, the only time of year you'll find the sun coming up in the middle of the arm like this is in December. The Pussy Willow. Um, there's multiples there. These, there's one plant in bloom right now in January at the Frog Pond. Can you double click? Yep. I don't uh, yeah, you can see yeah, that. Let's say back yeah. one. And there should yeah. be an equivalent going forward. On the other side. All right. Now it's going backwards. Well, let's go. That that'll work. Just go. Okay, I'll keep going then. Go backwards the whole way. There it goes. This was growing on a birch tree in my own yard. Uh, that birch came down in Hurricane Fiona, and this appeared on the uh, thing on the ground. It's still there, it's frozen now. And it thawed out again. It's frozen and thawed several times. That arrow is gone now. There should be one on the other side of the screen. Yeah. Even, I, even if you can't oh, see it, just click it. it. Yeah, there I you go. It. There you go. That'll keep it. Going. There we go. Okay. This is January last year here in Cove. These white spruce, there were several here, came down in one of our hurricanes. And the uh, erosion along here is tremendous. It's eaten back and taken out multiple trees. Hmm. Sugar maple woods in winter. And this was done, I believe, in Wentworth Valley. Nice shot. Last year in the winter. And of course, this is the arm again. And these trees are no longer there. They came down in Hurricane Fiona, mm. along with every other tree in that, that whole area here. There were several. They're all down. They're all gone. Um, I can't remember what this is, but I believe it's the... Uh, it's so tough. Pardon? Mistletoe. Mistletoe, dwarf mistletoe. Yes, it is. You're right. 
And that was uh, in March last year. Mayo flower. At uh, the uh, Balancing Rock Trail. <coughs> this, is, this was in uh, end of March, early April. And uh, it's witch hazel, no, witch hazel. Hazelnut. The peak hazel, yeah. Yeah. And this is the female flower of uh, Karima Conradi. And here's the male. In May, the um, trout lily are in bloom. They start around mid-May. And followed by our painted trillium in June, usually early June. And black-eyed Susan in August. Orange butterwort, this is August. And this is one of my favorites. This is um, Scirpus hatorianus, or mosquito bulrush. She usually messed in with the uh, other Scirpus, Scirpus hyperinus. And it's sometimes hard to find, but it's quite different with these nice little compact balls, very short bristles. It's interesting uh, history of this plant. It was described in Japan shortly after World War II <laughs> by a Japanese botanist, Hattori. And he described it as a new plant for Japan, not previously found. And American botanists recognized it as a North American species. And in honor of Hattori, it was named Hattorianus. Its name was changed. I forget what its uh, original name was. yellow-eyed grass. These will bloom around 10 o'clock in the day and by three o'clock in the afternoon, they're gone. As soon as they get fertilized, they drop their petals. They don't last very long. In August, late August, early September, if I'm lucky, the monarch butterflies will appear and I'll get the occasional caterpillar on my blood root, uh, blood on my, on my uh, milkweed. Into September, we get the uh, asters. In November, I like the fogs, with the boreal forest coming through the fog. And this one is showing upright. <laughs> For some reason, it got, it was horizontal all day. Now it's the way it should be. This is eyebright. This is actually in early December, full bloom. And that's along Highway 103 near Halifax, not very far away. Yeah, so, December. The oh, eyes bright. Okay. Can you go back to the eye bright for a sec, please? Yep. Uh, second. Yep. Did you take that photo in December, which was last month? Yep, I think so. And it was in full. What do you know the date? I'm just curious because I can't remember. Judge Lewin. I can't remember. The uh, the label for the file up in the upper right left said it's November. Was it November? Upper right, there's a, a file name up there. Oh, yeah. Upper right, where? Yeah. Upper left, upper left. Upper left. Right off in the corner. It says 2022 November. November. Okay, sure. sorry, it is November. Yep. Yeah, okay. that's right. 
Thank you, because I think yeah. my last two Frasier sighting was around November the 30th. Yes. I didn't, I, oh, maybe very early. December. I have seen it. I have seen it in December, but. Cool. Yeah. OK, thank you. OK. And I think, no, oh, I got another couple. This is late in the year, November. And this is December. This is a, a, a little stream that comes down from the frog pond. I like these icicles forming running water splash and anywhere in the province right now if you drive along the the highway 101 the red osier dogwood is spectacular and this is in january i think or december this was december last year yes yeah this is seaside plantain Growing his cracks in the granite rocks. Oh God! I'm, okay, I know I was missing some. This is in March. A skunk cabbage. I think this is the female phase of the plant. Girls, where are you finding skunk cabbage? These are uh, in the um, uh, Balancing Rock Trail. What part of the province, please? That's uh, near Digby. Oh, okay, way down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Digby, Yarmouth, and Shelburne. That's where you'll find. I've only ever seen skunk cabbage when I was in DC. It's very common. Yeah. In, uh, Quebec, but... They also grow up near Amherst. Wow. Uh, on the, on the near the Confederation Bridge, Bridge. Near the Confederation Bridge. Oh, okay. I don't know the exact site, but somebody reported that a, a couple of years ago. So, it's so unusual. Thank you. And this is uh, at Crystal Crescent Beach. And this was... Uh, in January of last year. And uh, this is how you tell the Ammophilus from the um, Elemus, these red stems on the leaves. I've lost my, okay, I guess that's, that's it. Okay. Well, at least I was afraid the pictures wouldn't come out at all, but okay, good. I'm done. Thank you. Okay, Bob, it's all yours again. Sorry, I'm on mute. My apologies. <laughs> so all my compliments you missed. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take my word, you have to take my word for it. 